think that there is a single pop star that I love in the world right now more than I love Selena Gomez. And look at the posters on my wall behind me. They feature in every single one of my videos. That is saying a lot. <laughs> so four hours ago, Selena uploaded this TikTok. Hello. It's over. I told my wife. Who is this? Now obviously millions of people are losing their goddamn minds right now and I'll get into several reasons why this is happening but before I do that I want to show you guys my initial reaction to this TikTok in a brief conversation with my mum that I had when I sent her the TikTok. So the comments under this TikTok went crazy! But I just want to clear the air about what's going on here before we dive into a conspiracy theory, babe. So the person who's speaking in the original sound of this video is Samantha Jones from Sex and the City. Now this is important to mention because in this Instagram post where she has a bunch of random items laying around, there's a little post-it note that says this. I'm sorry I can't. Don't hate me. And if you've ever watched the show, Carrie's then boyfriend Jack Berger broke up with her by leaving this post-it note. And if you scroll back all the way to July of 2022 on Selena's TikTok, you will see that she was watching Sex and the City. So obviously, the show has been an inspiration for either the song itself or the promotion of the song. Which is why she specifically used that sound of Samantha talking on the phone. But what I find to be really interesting is the fact that she uploaded this TikTok to her Instagram and then deleted it. And I fully agree with this person on Twitter. This shows how she will steer away from drama even if people take her side. Because obviously people went crazy and thought that this was shade, that she was creating drama, so she deleted it. But then she re-uploaded it to her Instagram because you wanna know what happened? She realized, you know what? I knew what I meant when I was making this TikTok. I just wanna promote my single by using a sound from a show that I really enjoy. And if people wanna make it into drama, fine, but I wanna put it back up on my Instagram. So just because people are creating drama about this TikTok, doesn't mean she should delete it. She didn't have intentions to create drama or throw shade, which is why she re-uploaded it, period. Also, I just quickly wanna mention the fact that so many people always project this thing onto Selena where it's like, oh my God, she's always creating drama. She's such a drama queen. She's always throwing shade when it's like she's just trying to live her life or promote a new single or release a new makeup product for her beauty brand. But because you guys know I like to have fun on this channel, we will talk about a conspiracy theory. Let me read to you a little bit about what Carrie and Jack's relationship was like in the show. After Carrie and her finicky writer boyfriend Jack Berger promised to try and make their flailing relationship work, he bails in the night, leaving her a post-it note to deliver the blow. And because this song, Single Soon, is originally a demo from 2017, people think that it may have something to do with Justin Bieber. And if we look back to their relationship, they also kind of had a really flailing relationship. The years have brought so many ups and downs for Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez, who dated on and off until he married Hailey Bieber in 2018. So they were on and off for eight years. And because the man in this sound says that he broke up with his wife, people were saying that this was a very specific verse. Which therefore led to people being like, Did Justin call you? And the reason that she sang Who Is This is because she has literally gone on record saying that breaking up with Justin was the best thing that ever happened to her. <laughs> But even with the connections and the conspiracy theories, I still deep down believe 100% that she was not throwing shade and she was not trying to start drama. She just wants to promote her new single coming out literally this Friday by using a sound from a show that she really loves, which was the inspiration for the single. But honestly, she doesn't even need to be lifting a finger for the promo of this song because it is literally on the Billboard Hot 100 and it isn't even out yet. How is a song charting when it hasn't been released, babe? Like, if that doesn't tell you that this is going to be the song of the year, I don't know what to tell you. Even if this is Justin Shade, which I still don't believe it is, but let's just say for a second that it is, I wouldn't mind. Because let's not forget when Taylor Swift literally confirmed by liking this post on Tumblr, 
that Justin cheated on Selena. So if you're gonna cheat on your girlfriend, babe, I think the shade is deserved. To end this video off, I just wanna say that this TikTok made by Selena was Kim Cattrall approved. And that's all that matters. But let me know what you guys think about this TikTok. Do you think it was Justin Shade? Or do you think she was simply using a show she loves to promote her song? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah! I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys, and make sure to pre-save single soon.